I love just the horn came on in the last bit. I want to do the other Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Hey everybody, we're just getting going right now. This is Don Landing at the D3 Studio. And uh, as always on Friday, we love to do uh, a live feed. And this week I have something very special for everybody in the form of an artist spotlight. Uh, I want to introduce Francesca. This is uh, Francesca Maria Holbrook. What a wonderful name. <laughs> anyway, she and I have had the most amazing week. And, uh, well, let me start by just introducing you and having you hold up your information. I want you to tell everybody slowly how to get in touch with you. Yeah. And show them. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to say that's the way I hold up. I'm an artist, prosthetic fabricator in LA. Slow down a little bit. Uh, makeup artist, pro uh, prosthetic fabricator. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> I love starting. You know, I love starting these, these discussions. Uh, when I first met Francesca, she came in yeah. and she had uh, she was doing drawing. And once again, you don't ever have to be able to draw to be able to sculpt, okay. in my opinion. <laughs> but she went and she gathered all these wonderful references. I'm gonna put these cards in front of you for a second, but you guys can see here. Uh, look at these different dragons that she found. And also this one, she was looking at a lot of different textures. And also looking at realism, <coughs> pardon me, good realism, to find out more of a snaggle piece. Yeah. You know, now I'm sitting here just starting to do so. If you want to talk about that a little bit, you yeah. can tell us about eyes and what have you. Uh, I don't know, I look through some dragon pictures, and uh, I, don't know, I found some, I found a What were some of the what were some of the details in these photos that you wanted to try or yeah, that you have used? So, um, I mean, I took a lot of this like ragged kind of textures and stuff from yeah. like the yeah. Um It didn't all translate into the final piece. Uh, no, it never does. Part, you know, yeah. um, and again, this is still in progress, so you never know what's gonna kind of transpiring, but um, yeah. with us and these guys, um, there wasn't a whole lot that ended up something under the dragon outside of the scaling, but uh, the case was really inspiring. Um, I think a lot of them have a very similar, you know, angular Beautiful. shape and goals. Right on. Um, and then I'm a big nature person, big animal person, so right on. Um, my whole life has been surrounded by alligators. I don't know why. Um, well, you're you're moving to Florida, no? Yeah, maybe. Well, excuse we'll me, see. part time. Something yeah. they have alligator um, country. I have parents out there, and yeah. uh, you know, it's, I'm gonna be out there for a while, and you yeah. know, I visit all the time. But growing up, uh, I actually grew up in England. Yep. Um, I moved here when I was 13, and um, I had grandparents who had a house out in Florida, so we would go and visit all the time. And yeah, I don't know. My whole life is just surrounded by alligators, and. Uh, <laughs> So you brought that into your work. So like, that's my soulmate. We're meant to be. Beautiful. Um, Beautiful. So yeah, I love them. I love the shape. I think they're a badass. Was they're there an eyeball cool. that you stayed closer to, or did the eye just become its own thing? So the eye kind of ended up becoming its own thing. I love this face. So we kind of played with the angular, you know, uh, again, it's still... Still, still you're happy. still in it. Yeah. It's still building. 
she's still de detailing, but look at that, everybody. I'm so proud of you. Turn it, turn it all the way to the profile and let us get a good look here. I want to point out some things. Yeah. Um, <laughs> well, she's pointing out what, what goes on, you guys, is in this class we try to get ready after 40 hours to have our pictures. But the, the sculpture is really done when you say it's done, when the artist is done. Many people will mold their sculpture right after class. A lot of folks will take it home and yeah. continue the sculpture until they feel completely ready. I have to say, Francesca has worked so hard on this. Look at this texture in the back. Now, she does have some more work to do, but we're very close to going to the molding soon. We're going to chase... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, listen, I started talking. I want to hear you talk. Tell us about your character here. Yeah. And I'm just going to do some close-ups. Um, again, we're going from the data, so I mean, if you look at that face on the jaw, that's really what we got that from. And from the gator? Yeah, I mean, I love the shape of the jaw. Um, that style to this style. I mean, just yeah. even in the, like, what do you call that, the muzzle? Or? Which one? The neck, what's happening? Yeah, but the neck. But even just in this, like, old age aspect. Yeah. And that's very data. Um, I want to mention everybody, yeah. she's used wet clay. Our yeah. Making Monsters class is always wet clay. And this material will have to be molded because the clay dies uh, in favor of a new mold. And then we generate a silicone or a latex copy out of the mold. And that's how it, that's the process. Look at those teeth. Just hold it still for one second and let me oh, travel around. I am making it easier for my I know we're talking about the teeth, but look at the texture that she's got uh, with the scaling. The thing that I love about the scaling is, I watched her do it. It really was a drawing, if you agree. Oh, yeah. And then she processed each scale individually to kind of give it its own character. And you did a great job. And this is really alligator yeah. stuff in here. Uh, maybe you can soften that slightly, oh, yeah. but that comes in an alcohol... Uh, brush out that she really hasn't done her alcohol brush out uh, yet that's yeah, really I like yeah that's like the <laughs> last step the last last step yeah. well I love it can you t can you tell me a little bit about your inspiration did you grow up with dragons being a, a, an English citizen or dragons are real, yes. dragons um, are real. Yes. <laughs> no but I, um, I grew up in England um, with my mom and then um, I well I say England I grew up in Wales for the most part um, but beautiful country I lived in England, lived in Wales for like two weeks at a time, every other two weeks, so you kind of know. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, my grandparents lived there, my grandpa still lived there, um, my grandma is not away. Uh, and so you came, yeah. I grew up surrounded with them, yeah. um, and you know, if you know anything about Wales, dragons are everywhere. Um, <laughs> you know, the, the, the thing, there's uh, so much to wear, and like old stuff for it, you know, falling. Yeah, sure. King Arthur, my yeah. God, the round table. Yeah. That's yeah. my stuff. Yeah. That's Excalibur, right? <laughs> Marilyn! Yes, you did. Uh, By the way, we have Excalibur on the sculpture. Oh, yeah. Our center line. Cool. You guys, those that know me know I always have a center line in. She's not quite done yet, but that'll come out. Yeah. And, uh, well, nevertheless. Yeah. yeah, it's a beautiful part of that culture and part of the world. And, uh, huh. yeah. Really yeah. Okay. Um, so, yeah, I kind of draw, through on that, and then also, you know, everyone loves dragons. Um, yeah. What's not to like? That's what I like, is it? Tell me, tell me about painting. Uh, are you gonna? I know you're gonna mold it because we've discussed that. Yes. Uh, oh, uh, you don't murder his name. That's okay. We'll go ahead. <laughs> Stephen, our mold maker, he's wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. He is. Um, 
Yeah. That's going to be amazing. Uh, we're getting it molded. Um, now, after molding, have you thought about some color color choices? Yeah. So, um, Tell me. we're running in foam. It's pretty fun. Um, and I don't know. I think for the most part, I'm still pulling off of the data. It always comes back to the core, but um, for the most part, I love the uh, baby kind of data frame, font frame. Perfect. The texture, the color. It's amazing. I love the, you know, how organic it is. I love the kind of data play, mm -hmm. um, but I feel like this guy is just too, too detailed for that. He's a dragon, he's magical, he can do it all, and I feel like, you know, Having him be so dark will kind of take away from his. Uh, I agree. Power, I, in a way. Like, yeah. That's yeah, okay. You. Kind of play with yeah. The kind of natural. Yeah. Kind of brown and, and I have to say, because she's pumped so much detail in here, and as a sculptor, you don't want a paint job that's you want a paint job that's going to capitalize on the sculpture and not obliterate what you've worked so hard for. So, uh, she and I have talked a little bit about the paint. This is a dry brush dream, because so many of the peaks will pick up that paint. And uh, well, needless to say, I want you to follow Francesca, and I want you to, when she posts this, uh, I'm nudging her towards iridescence and I, I greens. Think we're do a couple. I hope so, and I uh, believe she's going to do one in in bright uh, red, yeah. which is the more traditional. Uh, well style and were you gonna give that to somebody? I think that's that gonna go to my dad. Ah, uh, good. Hey, dad. I'm glad I'm a mom. <laughs> yeah. Uh, my dad actually didn't grow up in Wales. He grew up in the view of Wales uh, from his house. So right. You know, my mom grew up in Wales, so I think that'll be cool to have at the house. Can you give a shout out to your, your siblings? Yeah. Oh, yeah. My sister, and my, uh, hey. she's actually from England, and then my brother is in Florida. So. Hey, family. <laughs> Well, I've had a wonderful week with you, and i got to tell you, uh, the detail here has been fantastic. The concept has been fantastic, and I just can't wait to see one painted. Wouldn't that be amazing if you painted one for the teacher? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding you. I'm kidding you. Well, needless to say, I'm just going to uh, hang out and take a few shots and travel around the face a little bit. I just got some shadow here. Once again, the light isn't very good here, but I love seeing it in different light. You've got such a heavy forehead there. Here, let's turn back this way. Come over here. Well, there's so much going on here. Right. I want to give him a tight shot on the horn. Yeah. And I want you to demonstrate. She got something here in the last day. You never know what's going to happen. Uh, every day, things change a lot in, in uh, the Making Monsters program. But uh, she just came on with baby powder and kind of a tree. You tell me what you what you did here, because I just think that's beautiful. Yeah, so, I mean, um, originally we started with this kind of craft texture, which, I mean, already is great, and it kind of incorporates the sound design. Right. It just did not feel like organic if I wanted it to, and I feel like it might be a dragon, but we're trying to get it as real as we can. Yes. Um, so, I just wanted to kind of tie that in and make it more organic looking, and so we started crafting the... Uh, the horns a little more and basically just, I mean, I'm going to build this guy up because he's drying out a little bit. But sure, but that main horn in. is almost done. I guess what I'm saying is the detail is just gorgeous. Yeah, and, and then the uh, baby powder and yeah. it just created this leather effect. And, yeah. I mean, you can see the sun, you can hear the wind and yeah. everything. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I love the brow too because it is it is very um, it's a, it's not full alligator to me but it's just yeah. cool uh, that forehead I know you're still wearing she's gonna do an alcohol brush yeah. up but look at that forehead the strength of it overall is what really works. Mm -hmm. Great. Great. Let's take a shot on the back. Let's get that. Now she's going to sign this and put a copyright on it. And Don always wants you to copyright your work. Uh, $35 with copyright.org. And you can own your artwork. It's a wonderful thing. It gives you a prideful feeling in the certificate. 
turn it around for me one more time. Turn it all the way around. We're going to spin it, and then we're going to take off. Francesca, I know you worked on Boba Fett. I did. And uh, I, I know. Okay. Yeah. Um, you've done some wonderful stuff, and I know that you're uh, now. Uh, you just. I just had a wonderful time working with you. I know you're. <laughs> You're traveling and you're looking towards the future for work. And I want to tell everybody what a pleasure I had working with this, this fine person. Uh, and I also want to mention that she worked so hard the whole time through with good humor and grace. I, I just, I had a great time. And the sculpture, as always, is the proof. The proof of the concept. And then uh, I have to ask you, did you find any tools in the class that you took a shine to. Yes, yes. Tell us about that, because I, I want to express the value. Yeah, so I mean, already, this one right here. This Let's here. see what we got. Is it the Rick Baker tool? Oh, that's the D9. Yeah. Good old D9, Kemper. Yep, yeah, yeah. Look, she's got two of them. You must like those. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, those that know me know I love that D9. And then there's the Rick Baker tool. Ah. Um, and then forgot about it. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, well, Ray knows the power of the D9. <laughs> Good. Hey, Ray. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, listen, um, we're excited about what you've done. We're really excited about how you're going. And we are looking forward to seeing you post the finished painted version on your pages. And uh, once again, we thank you for uh, for this beautiful creation, this yeah. beautiful wet clay sculpture. Thank you for giving me the chance to make yeah. something yeah. Well, that's wonderful, hon. I'm going to actually give this to you and have you yeah. hit me. Uh, I just wanted to thank everybody for stopping in. And I wanted to tell you all that I'm going to be in France uh, on the 12th, uh, teaching at a beautiful place called the Act Academy with my good friend Richard Masson. I have to thank my good friend, Neil Gordon, for this wonderful connection. Uh, I'm going to be there with uh, a room full of students, and we're going to be doing sculptures just like what Francesca did here. <laughs> and so that's going to be a couple weeks from now. We're going to be posting that to the Act Academy in the Leo Friends, or of Leo Friends. And uh, look also for my friend, Richard Nassan, a wonderful gentleman that has a makeup school there that is like no other. And once again, thank you, Neil, for that uh, uh, that referral and that wonderful friendship. Um, that's it for me. Uh, I hope everybody's well, staying cool, staying out of the heat. Everybody stay strong. Keep your artwork going. Do your artwork at home if you're working professional. Do your work for yourself as well. Keep that alive. And this is Don Lane wishing everybody uh, the very best. Okay. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Well, that's okay. We're still there. Thank you for coming in, folks. We had a great time. Look, we rolled up some. We rolled up some crazy little guys. There. All right. We're gonna leave you. Have a happy Friday, folks.